Okay, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to make bread that there is. First of all, 14 ounces of cold water. 14 ounces of cold water, not warm, not hot, but cold water. Okay, then we're gonna put a tablespoon of sugar in. It's about the easiest recipe in the world and it's foolproof. One and a half teaspoons, whoops, I grabbed one and a half teaspoons of salt. Okay, and we're gonna put in a quarter of a teaspoon of yeast. Where did my I use the quick acting, the rapid rise yeast, and we only need a quarter of a teaspoon for each batch of bread, but it must go into the refrigerator. After you use it, if it gets warm, it loses its potency. So like I said, one quarter of a spoon of teaspoon of this is gonna go in. As soon as I get the package. I have to mix it all over, but drop the yeast right in the center of the bowl. Because if it sticks to the side of the bowl, you're not gonna get all the yeast. Okay, I'm going to drop that in the middle. All right, this back into the refrigerator. Ridiculously easy. Now we're going to use the back side of the spoon, not the spoon part, but the handle. I like metal because it's easiest to work with. You can use uh, wood or whatever you want. Now we're going to stir the living daylights out of this, get everything dissolved. Get really mixed up well. That was one and a half teaspoons of salt, tablespoon of sugar, and a quarter of a teaspoon of fast acting yeast. I'm going to handle off, and we're going to put in three and a half cups of, of bread flour. Now, I use a half, half cup container because it's easier to work with rather than dumping a lot at one time. They recommend doing it this way. Just tap it, smooth it off. So I'm going to need seven of these, seven and a half cups for three and a half cups. One, two, and I just Tap it to get the flour down and scrape off the top. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we are all set. That's all there is to the components of making this. Now we're going to mix it up from the center out using the handle again. So we do it the other way, it'll all clump together and it will not mix very well. So we're just gonna slowly work that all into the middle. So very easy. It works the best, I, I raise it outside. It works out the best now because of the humidity that we have. I tried proofing in the oven, but the oven proofing selection thing, it, it doesn't work as well. Outside is still the best. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of daylights out of this. Heavy pancake batter consistency. Okay, that's all there is to it. And I'm just going to kind of smooth it around the bowl. I'm going to cover that with plastic, plastic wrap or plastic, plastic bag. I like to get a little bag of things here. And that's going to go out in a warm place, uh, six to eight hours. If you go longer, it doesn't matter, but it, at least six. We want this to double in size. And after a while, we'll do the next step, and I'll show where we go from there. Okay, this has been rising for about six to eight hours. Basically, you want it to double in size. So all we're going to do is put flour on our board, plenty of flour on our wood, wood, cut, wood baking board, whatever. And we're just going to take a big spoon and pull the dough away from the sides of this bowl. And drop it on here. Okay, now I'm going to clean this bowl out real quick. Okay, I basically just washed the dough out of that bowl and dried it. I'm going to take some olive oil and just swiggle it around in the bowl and smooth it all over so the whole bowl is covered with olive oil. Okay, I'm just going to set that down. I want our hands good and dry because if they're wet, all this flour and dough is going to stick to them. So now we're just going to troll this a couple of times. It's very, very watery, very loose. That's why you need to have a fair amount of flour on the, on the board. So we're just going to do that a few times. That's all it needs. I'm going to put my hand in the flour so it doesn't stick to me. Now I'm going to pick this up and drop it into the bowl. 
and I'm going to put just a little olive oil on the top. This is real important. And I'm going to flip it over. So the whole thing is coated now with olive oil. And now it's going to go back outside or wherever you want to raise it. I'm going to let it go all night and we'll finish step three in the morning. So I'm basically, like I said, covering with olive oil. I'm going to put the plastic cover back on and let it rise overnight. That's it for step two. Okay, the bread has been, the dough has been rising for several hours. I was going to leave it overnight, but because of the humidity, it grows a lot faster. So all we're going to do at this point, as you can see, it's twice the size of what it was before. Just preheat the oven to 450. And what we're going to do at the same time is put both of the bread pans in the oven so that they heat up while the oven's preheating. So they're hot by the time we put the dough in. So that's it for now. Okay, the oven is 450. We're going to take the pans out. Make sure you wear a nice pot holder, glove type thing. All right, and we're just going to, because we have the olive oil in it, it's going to slide right out. We're just going to drop it into the pan like so. Same thing over here. You don't need to put any uh, pan or anything on the pan because the olive oil is coated. That's it, into the oven for 28 minutes at 450. And in 28 minutes, we'll have the finished bread. So all there is to it, I just took it out of the oven. It was 28 minutes at 450. And I'm gonna just spread soft butter over the top while it's still very hot. Now, if you looked at, I, I noticed in the video that I did two different um, containers. I did several loaves of bread, but the technique and the, the procedure that I took, I did is, is right. But this is this came out of a different bowl, and I made two batches instead of just one. So I'm just going to butter the top of that, and because I put the olive oil um, in the second step, and we did the second rising, this bread is not going to stick to the pan. I'm going to let it cool for maybe about 10-15 minutes and take it out, and that's it. Perfect loaves, easiest thing you ever made in your life, and it has a great consistency. And um, I tried doing the type where you do the kneading forever and. I didn't think the bread was any better. I liked a little, little um, thicker consistency to this bread. More, more, more bite to it, and the crust is much better. That's it. Very simple. Start making bread.